test, test. 1, 2, 3. Inderdaad, dan zet uh, René de microfoon even aan. Welcome everyone, welcome to this program by Studium Generale. Ja, dat is altijd het belangrijkste, dat je dat test. Ja, ik praat even door, welkom everyone here in the room. Goed dat we have an audience again after the corona crisis and the lockdown. Ja, yeah. is hij goed Mark? Oké, okay. hartstikke fijn. Uh, And today he will hopefully um, inspire you all to change some of the resistance in your life into curiosity. Please give Kun a warm welcome. Test in twee.
Oké, okay, dan... Uh, ik sta te hard. Dan sta jij misschien iets harder dan dat ik sta. Oh ja.
Let's go. Break it down. Put it there. Bring it on. Step it up. Right there. Break it down. Put it there. Here we go. Step it up. Bring it on. Let's go. Uh. All right. Yes, we are live. Welcome, everyone. Um, welcome to this program by Studium Generale. Welcome to this program here, live in the Blaue Zaal at the Eindhoven University of Technology. Well, it's very nice to have an audience uh, again in front of me. Good that you are here. Uh, welcome, everyone. But also a very welcome to everyone who is watching uh, the live stream via YouTube or Facebook. Um, the chat function is uh, open today during this program. This, so if you have any questions for us or for our guest speaker uh, later on, you can ask your questions in the chat or uh, in the comments on Facebook. Um, this lecture today is organized in cooperation with DOS. Uh, DOS is one of the student fractions of our university uh, in the University Council. And uh, that's why I would like to give the floor today um, to Kelly Franse. And Kelly is the chair of DOS and she's going to tell you something more, uh, a little bit more about DOS and also give a further introduction uh, on the topic and our guest speaker today. So, Kelly, go ahead. Thank you. Uh, so, again, welcome everyone. Uh, my name is Kelly. I'm Fraction Chair of DAS Eindhoven. And DAS is a student faction in the University Council of the TUE. And there we represent ambitious students who want to develop themselves alongside their study. And we are organizing this lecture today in collaboration with Studium Generale. Um, because we want to inspire all of you to um, step out of your comfort zone and actively participate in activities outside of your planned curriculum. Um, this lecture is going to be given by Koen Jutte. Uh, Koen is a change expert, motivational speaker and a musician, and he has a background in consultancy and theater. And hopefully Koen uh, will today transform some of the resistance in your life more into curiosity. Um, so please give Koen a warm welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Kelly. Yes, to change uh, resistance into curiosity. I've, uh, I want to start with a question. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> I can play the piano very well. I can play all kinds of songs. For instance, maybe you know the song. Only the intro. You know the song? Piano Man. Piano Man. You're right. Sing us a song, you're the piano, that kind of song. I know songs, whatever, from the Beatles and the modern songs, etc. And my question for you right now, who says, apart from Corona, spontaneously, I have a big songbook with all the lyrics. Well, I take a chance and I go on stage to sing a little song with this Kunjutte. Yes, I step out of my comfort zone. Who? <laughs> well, some of you over there. I'm looking in the camera now, so no. Well, uh, <laughs> I can't imagine that. It's 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 a way to the stage, and then sing a song, and you're not doing that perfectly. And that's where the speech is all about. And there's a very powerful phrase on the website. Das and Studium Generale put it phrase on the side that the speech is especially for students who want to be prepared for the world of tomorrow and, um, and you know the world of tomorrow and the world today is full of challenges so the question is how do we grow in the way we deal with these challenges because if we and the answer is very simple the answer is to deal with the challenges of the world of today and tomorrow is to create your own challenges what happens if you create your own challenges and you put them into practice? It is challengeable. So you step a little bit out of your comfort zone. And by doing that, you create new situations. And you increase your comfort zone in order to, to be more comfortable with future challenges. And there are the future challenges. And you take another step. And at the end of your life, you have a very big comfort zone and everything feels comfortable for you. That's the essence of growth. I put it down here. The essence of personal growth is to create your own challenges in order to get more comfortable with challenges of other people and the challenges of the world of today and tomorrow. What are these challenges? We already create these challenges. You created your challenges by going to another town, 
Leave your parents. Who does it? <laughs> Who doesn't live at their? Ooh, who does live at their parents at the moment? Give me a hand. Nobody. Who, who is a parent, him or herself? Great. Also a challenge, I guess. Once they were born, it's an all full of challenges. A new world of challenges came up to you as soon as you became a parent yourself. These have the the life changing challenge. You have also the typically student challenges. That is relationship. Who has enough money? Well, great. I don't think you have any money, but it's enough for you. Maybe that can be the answer also. That's it. It's enough for you. Great. Who wants to have more money? Yeah, the same guy. <laughs> yeah. All right. You have your challenges, relationship challenges. Who is totally in love at the moment? Well, the same guy again. All right. Ah. Who, who had a love life, it was, it was great, but it has been ended. Yeah, oh, poor you. All right. You have your social challenges. You have your challenges preparing for your professional way of life. Uh, so go for this challengeable internship to apply for it or to uh, take another role in this crossover project or create a new event to go to step in a new group of people. You can do it all. All these challenges you can do as a student. And you have you, your intersocial challenges. It can be a challenge to say, I got a new idea for our product team. I want to bring it in. Or I'm worried about the way we are, we are, we are moving in this project. And I'm going to bring my, my concern. That can be a challenge. I'm, I have some problems with, with that or with, with this. And I want to ask for help. That can be a challenge. And I want you... If you want to have the most out of this speech, just close your eyes, now, and I want you to think about some challenge, something you want to put into practice, something you might want to do, but you're just a little bit unsure. Just 20 seconds. Everything is okay. It can be... Thing. If nothing comes up, you may choose the challenge of creating a challenge. Close your eyes. Okay. What do we need for personal growth? What do we need? to create your own challenges and put them into practice. The first, I have five steps. The first step is love your comfort zone. I'm not a speaker who says, we have to step out of our comfort zone. Everybody has to stand here and sing songs and, and be un imperfect, to create more space for other people to be imperfect, to inspire people not by the power of your voice, because you don't have a power of your voice. <laughs> Celebrate good times, come on, uh, when you do that. What do you create? You create room for other people who say, well, it doesn't need to be perfect. That's what you do when you step out of your comfort zone. Maybe that can be the, the cause. And the... But I don't say that. I say the first thing you have to do is to love your comfort zone. The comfort zone is comfortable. The comfort zone, you're in the comfort zone. When you do what you always did, the usual thing, in order to get what you always got. It is... Ah, oh, predictable what you're doing in a comfort zone. You know the outcome of your behavior. You know the outcome of your thoughts. You know already the outcome of what you're saying. And I say, have a life in which you, for 95% at least, are in the comfort zone. Love it. Embrace it. In the comfort zone, you, you enjoy the flow. In the comfort zone, you enjoy your self-confidence. This is what I can do. And you know, you see the effect. I know it. <laughs> Love it. In the comfort zone, you create space for others to be out of their comfort zone, to get stressed. In your comfort zone, you don't have stress. In the comfort zone, you like people. I like you. I'm in the comfort zone. I like the way you are. Whatever you do, whatever you say, I'm comfortable. 
So stay as long as you can in the comfort zone. 95%, 96. We're talking about the 4%. We go on. Okay, just a light, little, little exercise. In pairs, we have to shout a little bit. Well, change, exchange what makes you feel comfortable. It may be also be guilty pleasures. Ah, oh, yeah, that may, that's comfortable for me. Just exchange. 20 seconds each. Go for it. Well, half a minute, half a minute. Okay, change. The other person. All oh, right. Okay. Who says it is, uh, it is stressful to talk about my comfort zone? No. Who says it feels comfortable to share what I, what's comfortable for me? Give me your hand. Yeah. Right. Well, love your comfort zone. That's the first thing you have to do, whatever you do with creating challenges. The second thing is, but what happens? Imagine you're comfortable, like you're right, right now. You sit on the sofa. Ah, you're, you're happy with yourself. Uh, you're watching a bad uh, television, whatever. You're eating food. You're addicted in your comfort zone to your behavior. That's, that's, in your comfort zone, it's addiction. You know, you know what you get and, uh, and you love what you get. And that's a pattern. In the comfort zone, you have ah, these this lovable patterns that makes you you. But at the edge of the comfort zone, not, not at the other side, that's stepping out, but just at, at, at the edge, you know, this is the comfort zone. In the middle you, uh, but at the edge there you come. Then you, then you have these, these, these thoughts. The, these come up, these thoughts. These are the thoughts of, of growing, of learning, of, of change. <laughs> change? Yes. These thoughts of change, these thoughts come up. Mostly when you're English oriented, it's with I should. Ik zou eigenlijk, I should. Who actually, because it's out of my comfort zone to talk in English. So for whom am I doing this? Who doesn't understand Dutch in this, in this audience? Wie verstaat er geen Nederlands? Wie staat, verstaat er wel Nederlands? Hands up. Ja. Oké. Okay. Well, <laughs> let's stay out of my comfort zone. <laughs> All right. There we go. I should. You sit in the sofa, in your comfort zone. I should change this. I should do this course. Yes. I saw other people doing the course, and they are now mm, huge and big and, and heroes and important and, and lovable. I should plan this trip. I'm jealous about the other guy or the woman, blah, blah. And I bring in, I should bring in this idea. I guess it is a good idea. I talked to myself and I checked it and I, well, and I, my alternative plan, I quit my part-time job. Why? Because then I can do another job and earn more money and save time and blah, blah, blah. I should move from here, quit this relationship. Whoever thought I, I, I should quit this relationship, whoever thought that. Yeah, a few people, great. You were there. Take another role in this project. I'm, I'm doing this, but I, I want to have the role of, of the other, ah, etc. That's on the sofa. How do you, but there is a big gap, we know that, between I should do this and, and actually put it into practice, actually doing it. 
Why is this gap? I tell you. We have to understand the gap. Our brain. I'm not a fan of the brain. I don't like the brain. The brain is old-fashioned. The brain hasn't been changed since ages, since the early man, since the Homo erectus was walking around in this world, chasing other, 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 other wild animals. So the, the, mo the strongest part in the brain want us to keep us in the comfort zone. Why? Because if we step out of it, we're going to do things and we don't know the outcome. So maybe they're dangerous, maybe they're, they're deadly. And, and that's, that's the reason. What was helpful to survive? What is an evolutionary strong mindset? Unfortunately enough, it is the fear to unknown. That made us who we are right now after millions of years. Well, imagine the caveman with, with the open mindset. Huh? Just born, uh, laughing, and uh, oh, 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 I'm, I'm curious. I don't have any resistance. I'm curious, born. And he stepped into the world, out of the box, creating his own challenges. He has heard some kind of speech about creating your challenges. And he wants to learn from everything. And then, and, and then he, he hears a sound. Ah! And he thinks, whoa, a new sound. I don't know, maybe I can play with it, or maybe I can eat it. And he comes, and he goes, and the sound, what is it creating? It is a huge animal, and oh, it eats him. So, that's the end of the open mindset caveman. The open mindset caveman doesn't exist anymore. So we are all, our brain, is that, we have the brain of that person, unfortunately enough. So, our brain wants us to prevent from change, because if we change, we're gonna do things we haven't ever done before, and maybe we're gonna die. We don't know. But the world has changed, it's not deadly anymore. The only thing what can happen to you when you say for the first time in your life, I, I disagree. For the first time in your life, you say in a group, I disagree. The reason for not doing it is that you think that when you say I disagree, people get annoyed with you. They get angry with you. And that's deathly serious for you. That's the reason why we don't say I disagree. Baby, I need to be friends with everybody. And our brain has a very powerful way to keep us in the comfort zone. That's the fight and flight reactions. We all know them. At the edge of the comfort zone, we have the fight and flight reactions. Fight reaction is make yourself big. <coughs> Excuse me. Make yourself big. And saying things like, it's not my fault, you are wrong. Judging the other person, that's fight. I don't have to change, they have to change. And the flight reaction is make yourself small. Maybe you recognize that. Saying things like, well, yeah, I shoot this, I shoot that, but it's just me. And, yeah, the other person could, but I, uh, ooh. And judging yourself. Make yourself small. Not judging the other person, judging yourself. That's fine and flight. That keeps you in the comfort zone. Preventing you from doing things you have never done before. It's very powerful. Okay, what do we need for personal growth? Love the edge of your comfort zone. Accept that this is where you are right now. This is what upsets me. This is what frustrates me. This is, this is my judgment. This is where I want to stay, in my comfort zone. And it is okay, it's just me. We're going to do a little exercise to get you there, to the edge of the comfort zone. We have to go. Otherwise, we, we, we will never get to the other side of the comfort zone. So get to the edge. And um, the exercise, I want you to stand up yeah, please stand up. You, uh, oh, uh, yeah, the crowd, the millions out there are also standing up. The whole building is, oh yes, everybody's standing up. We're gonna do an exercise. I want you to go to the edge of the comfort zone. Some of you will get irritated. Huh? Why? Or should I? Well, this is a kind of guy, I don't like him, etc. It's my fault, my fault. Some of you will get a little bit embarrassed. 
by the by the exercise, a little bit oh, insecure, oh, it's just me, etc. Some of you will love the exercise, 40% will love the exercise. Who thinks he or she will love the exercise? Give me your hand. That is fearing the unknown. I approve I approved this at the moment. All right. No, I will be the, the one who uh, is going to be uh, irritated. No, I will be the one who is... Okay. That's okay. That's where you are right now. Embrace it. It's okay. That's you, apparently. We just checked it. Okay. All emotions are allowed. I start music and I want you to move like you have never moved before. Yes. It may be a dance. It may be a workout. Whatever. Um... Some of you, it will be confronting. There's no good or false. Just challenge yourself to go to the edge. Yes. And is there anybody already who says, I'm going to challenge my comfort zone so much that it's okay that the camera will be put on me? Who says that? Okay. That's where we are right now. But they are watching, and they want to watch something odd, something strange, something that they've never seen. Who wants to... Be put the camera on him or her. One more time. Who don't care? Who doesn't care? All right, that's where we are now. Okay, just ch start the music and do, do it. And I want to see the irritation. And I want to see the embarrassment. And I want to see the joy. Everything is allowed. There we go. Ah! And it's been a long time for everybody. The dancing, I guess. And the workout. And whatever. Move like you have never moved. All right, great. You may sit down again. We're going to go... Okay, love the edge of the comfort zone. Okay, then you're going to step out of it. You love your comfort zone. You love your fight or flight reactions. And now you're going to step out of it. Love the good things that might happen. The point is, the brain focuses on the bad things that can happen. Yes, I'm going to say this in the meeting. Yes, I'm going to do this. But then bad things will happen. The brain is focusing on the bad. But the heart wants to step out of it. The heart wants to grow, wants to learn. Watch this. Don't watch the red questions. The red questions, they come immediately. That's the reflex of the brain. What if I do it? Yeah, no, what can go wrong? No, don't do it. That's the reflex. So don't go there. Help yourself. Yeah? Omzeil, the negativity bias. What's omzeil? Okay, whatever. No more negativity bias. You focus, help yourself and focus on the green questions. What if I do it? What dreams can come true if I get the result? What bad things will stop? Oh, yes, I know a lot of bad things that will stop when I do it. Oh, and what good things will I miss if I don't do it? That's a good question. And what bad things will go on if I don't do it? Use this and create support. Look for the people around you, the people from DAS, for instance, who can help you, who ask normal questions in the green zone. People, if your father wants to ask the questions in the green zone, talk to your father. If your mother asks questions in the, green, in the red zone, don't talk to your mother. That's my advice. It could have been the other way around. But mother, father, my mother, I don't talk to my mother if I'm doing strange things. If I'm in a comfort zone, I talk to my mother. I talk to my father, and it's about speeches in English. There we go. What do we need to personal growth? Love the good things that might happen. And then love the journey. So it's about the result that you have these green questions. But you, when it's about the first step, I want to share you this, this little movie. Watch it. Imagine two entrepreneurs. One has the growth mindset and one has the fixed mindset. They are both in the early stages of their entrepreneurial journey. Suddenly, they both encounter a roadblock and are forced to make a decision. 
The one with the fixed mindset sees the long and arduous journey ahead of her due to the roadblock. The journey is the way of what matters to her, the result. She believes that entrepreneurship should come easy to those who are destined for it. She decides to quit. The one with the growth mindset sees the long and arduous journey ahead of her and smiles. The journey is the way for her. The journey is what matters. Taking the role of a student, she accepts the long and arduous path as her teacher. She will allow it to mold her into the person she needs to become to achieve the results she desires. She decides to persist. Yes. So, the growth mindset, that's the way to step into, to step out of your comfort zone. To realize that whatever the outcome will be of your first step to realize this challengeable internship, stage, you want to go for it, the first thing you have to do is to talk to somebody. Hey, you already realize that it's an internship. Maybe you have been having thoughts about, well, I shouldn't do that because it's, it's, it's far away and, and I see other people having this and the, uh, these, these, well, I'm sometimes jealous about these people because they're so more than I am and all this talk in you. But then you find your first step and realize that whatever will be the result of this first step, step to get this challengeable internship, whether you get it or not, taking the first step is already the reward what you get back from the first step because it's already a step out of your comfort zone. It's already a step which you have never done before. Don't focus on the result. Realize that the journey is the reward. Why is the journey the reward? Why is it that the opposite of success is not failure, but the opposite of success is not trying. Why is that? Because if you don't get this internship at the end, you have done the journey. And in your, some other time you can reflect on the journey. What can I do better next time to get this job? A few years later. So you learn from it. This is growing. You get two things. You get what you, the result, perhaps. And you get the learning curve, the journey as a reward. Two things. This is the growth mindset. This is the most powerful thing. And talk with people who might have a growth mindset themselves. And these are not the people who are talking about their success. These are not people who are saying, yes, I, uh, I do this and uh, I'm, 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 I'm very good and uh, you know, I'm talented, etc. No. These are people who have been doing their best, who have been ambitious, who have been realizing that, it, well, you have to do something the first time of your life. Actually, the first time I did a speech in English was only one and a half year ago. And I prepared it very well. And, and, well, I had a course before that because I wanted to do it, do my speeches in English. And I had a course. I was 52. I'm 57 now. I did a course at the the, the in Vught, the Nans in, in Vught. A week, uh, a week long, I was only, I was, at, at the end of the week, I was thinking in English or something like that. But I've been doing this now for six months, not anymore. So, oh, out of my comfort zone. Whoever there is in the crowd who doesn't understand Dutch, I'm talking to you right now, thank you for giving me the opportunity to step out my comfort zone again here the 9th of September. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. All right. There we go. We're going to do it. It's 10 past 1. We're going to do it. So, love the journey, that's fourth. Let, let's give you a summary. Love your comfort zone. Ah, that's me. Ah, predictable behavior. I know the outcome of my thoughts. I know the outcome of my, my feelings. And, and I, I, I share it with my friends. And then you come at the edge of the comfort zone. You have this, this fight and flight reactions. Judging yourself, make yourself small. Judging other people, so I don't have to change, you have to change. <laughs> Preventing you from change. But that's you. You accept it. 
And then you accept yourself, you're totally self, not only one, not only two, and then love the good things that might happen. Yes, what could have happened when I go in the, in the green questions in your brain? And then fourth, love the journey. Whatever you do, it is new. So you learn, you grow. Love the journey. And then we're going to do it. We're going to sing on stage. I'm going to choose a volunteer. Now it's <laughs> getting on. What happens when you do it? When you finally you sit on the sofa and it's not anymore, I should do, I should this, uh, I should this. But you, actually you do it. You take the first step. You send the mail. You pick up the phone. You call this friend. You ask for help. You do it. You start. Little step. Talk to the right people. What happens? This is your comfort zone. You have these irritating and uncertain these situations. It makes you feel uncertain, makes you feel uncomfortable, makes you feel at the edge of the comfort zone. And how you react, judging yourself or judging others, create new of that kind of situations. That's the pattern. So your judgment about yourself and your judgment out about, about your environment creates new situations. You're going to react again from the edge of your comfort zone. You create new that kind of situation. They, these situations will never change. The only person who's going to change these situations is yourself. And suddenly you say, sitting at the sofa, I don't shoot. I have to. I go for it. I take the first step. Now I'm going to send a mail. Now I'm going to talk to this. Now I'm going to call my friend and, and ask him if he could help me with this, that. Now I'm going to call that person. He doesn't know me, but I know what I have to ask. I'm going to do it. And what you do, you step out of your comfort zone for the first time in your life in a specific situation. Sorry for this. You change the situation. It's going to be a different situation. You did it. You were, you were a change agent. That's you. And you break through the pattern. And you start with the growth and enlarging of your comfort zone. And instead of this, one of the fish, no, what's the perspective? I've been, uh, yeah, there was a good, uh, uh, yeah. What's the perspective? Whoa, that's where you go. And we're going to take the first step today. Uh, I want you all to stand up again. And that's out of your comfort zone, I know. Again, stand up. We have to move. We have to physically empower our state of mind in our nerves, in our bones, in our flesh and blood. So, I play a song, and this song ends with jump. You might as well jump. Jump! And the second jump, you, you jump yourself. And the higher the jump, the more you are motivated by the speech <laughs> to step out of your comfort zone when you walk out the door or tomorrow. All right? If, if nobody... Well, I, I did not a good speech when nobody jumps. That's okay. That's what it is. I mean, I get also my feedback. I have to do with it. Okay. Uh, a hand clap on the second and the fourth bar. It's a one, two, three, four. One, two, three, go. And clap. <laughs> clap. One, two. One, two, three, go. <laughs> Okay, who is celebrating his or her birthday in September? The rest may sit down. A September child, born child. The rest may sit down. All right, you're standing there. All right, you have your birthday in, in the meantime. Who of you wants to step out of his comfort zone and just sing on stage with me? Happy birthday to you. Ha yes. One of you. Otherwise, I will never come back in Eindhoven. Come on. Pressure. Group pressure. Yes. And he, get, he gets a big hand, this man.
Come over here. What's your name? Derek. Derek? Yeah. Derek? Derek. D-A-R-K. D-A-R-E-K. Derek. May I uh, ask you to stand over there? We just check out his, his, his key. Uh, without the microphone first, well, well, how, do you, how would you sing happy birthday to you? Happy birthday to you. Yeah, great. Uh, uh, And what's your name? Marlene. Marlene you, you, what what uh, date are you exactly uh, you having your birthday? Today? Last Saturday. Oh, last Saturday. Well, stand up. <laughs> He's going to sing it for you. And you may sing along, but with... Mm, 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 mm. Yes, because otherwise we, uh, we, we get a yellow card or something. I don't know. Okay, there we go. Happy birthday In the mic. to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear, dear Marlene. Marley. Happy birthday to you. Derek! Derek is great. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And who says, well, this performance of Derek inspired me to get out of my comfort zone sometimes. Who says yes? Yes. You inspired people, man. You're great. <laughs> all right. This was it. Thank you for your attention, uh, Gijs, and you all. Thank you. Um, if, yeah, well, why not? And there is, uh, well, we have two more minutes left for some questions. Yeah, Are actually, there any questions? Actually, actually one minute. Because one minute. Oh, you're yeah. so. Yeah, we also have some practical information. So. Is there anyone in the room who has a question? Then please raise your hand. No one, not yet. Yes, yes. What happens if you go out of the comfort zone too much? Yes. What happens if you go out of the comfort zone too much? Too much. Yes. Okay. Well, you have this, this, what he did was learning zone. Well, let's try. We'll see what happens. And, and, and if you go too much, you, you come in, in, in this comfort zone, learning zone, Terror zone. Don't go there. If you feel I don't, it's, it's, it's far beyond what I should do, then don't do it. Maybe some of you, you have thought, I don't do it. I don't go on stage. That's far too uncomfortable for me. And when you do that, that's, that's not good for you. You have to feel it. it there, there must be an urge. You know what I mean? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for your asking. Good question. Yeah, yeah. all right. Kuhn, uh, yeah. Unfortunately, we have yeah. to wrap up the session. It was, it was very inspiring and very lively. Thank uh, you. I was glad to see that uh, almost everyone jumped. And I saw in the chat that there were also people dancing in their rooms. Oh. And even someone uh, broke uh, his ceiling light. So. But it was all going. <laughs> <laughs> so people were very enthusiastic. But uh, thanks again for giving this talk. So give him a big hand. Koen Jutte. Thank you. And thank you all for attending this lecture here today. Uh, all the students of DAS, thank you very much for organizing uh, this event together with us. Uh, for the people watching uh, the live stream, thank you for watching. And um, the link for the use registration will appear in, uh, right now, I guess, uh, in the chat. So you can fill in the form. So thanks again. Um, yeah, and I hope to see you at another program of Studium Generale, and you can check the website for all other programs coming up. So, thank you, and bye-bye. And please wait a moment with leaving the room.